Learfield Directors Cup, the highly recognized mark of distinction in college athletics across all divisions, both men's and women's sports. Follow your favorite team's pursuit for excellence in this prestigious annual award through thedirectorscup.com, USA Today, or at L Directors Cup on Twitter or Facebook. Learfield Directors Cup, the crowning achievement in college athletics since 1993. Now it's time for the Mike Norvell TV show presented by AutoZone. From parts to helpful advice, AutoZone has everything you need to get in the zone. AutoZone. The show is supported by the Tennessee Lottery, Subway, and Chick-fil-A. Welcome in, everybody. Nice to have you aboard. It's, I guess, now uh, pretty well common knowledge. You go to Navy, the midshipmen don't make mistakes. You've got to be spot on. And the difference yesterday, Coach, apparently, was those four turnovers. Those mistakes came back to bite the Tigers. Yeah, you know, a disappointing loss yesterday. Um, you know, like you mentioned, uh, we the number one focus for us was uh, be able to win the turnover margin. You're playing an offense like like they have. You got to maximize every possession, and uh, you know we didn't do a very good job of that. But uh, um, you know, had to lead in the fourth quarter. But uh, for the first time since we've been here, you know, gave that up, and uh, you know, definitely disappointing. I, I, I guess if we're looking for bright spots, and there were plenty, and sometimes we magnify losses in college football because there's only so many games, but it is a season-long thing. I think the defense keeps getting better and better. Well, you know, I thought our kids played hard, both sides of the ball. Uh, you know, we did play for 60 minutes. Uh, you know, obviously there's some mistakes and things that we'd like to have back. Um, but uh, you know, we are seeing growth at a lot of uh, you know, individual and groups uh, you know, on our football team. So we've got to build off of yesterday's experience, and I know our kids are excited to go to work this week, and uh, thank goodness we have a short week uh, leading up to Friday. Be and speaking of individuals, and you'll see just how good Daryl Henderson was, 212 yards. Coming up, the highlights, both the first half and the second. You'll see a lot of great plays, ladies and gentlemen. Then the Chick-fil-A Inside Access is all about team bonding. And then finally, the AutoZone Road Ahead. It's Georgia State. It's a Friday night at the Liberty Bowl. We need you all to come on out. We've got the highlights coming your way in just a minute. This is the Mike Norvell Show. Learfield Directors Cup. The highly recognized mark of distinction in college athletics across all divisions, both men's and women's sports. Follow your favorite team's pursuit for excellence in this prestigious annual award through thedirectorscup.com, USA Today, or at L Directors Cup on Twitter or Facebook. Learfield Directors Cup, the crowning achievement in college athletics since 1993. Now it's time for the Mike Norvell TV show presented by AutoZone. From parts to helpful advice, AutoZone has everything you need to get in the zone. AutoZone. The show is supported by the Tennessee Lottery, Subway, and Chick-fil-A. Welcome in, everybody. Nice to have you aboard. It's, I guess, now uh, pretty well common knowledge you go to Navy. The midshipmen don't make mistakes. You've got to be spot on. And the difference yesterday, Coach, apparently was those four turnovers. Those mistakes came back to bite the Tigers. Yeah, you know, a disappointing loss yesterday. Um, you know, like you mentioned, uh, we the number one focus for us was uh, be able to win the turnover margin. You're playing an offense like like they have. You got to maximize every possession, and uh, you know we didn't do a very good job of that. But uh, um, you know, had to lead in the fourth quarter, but uh, for the first time since we've been here, you know, gave that up, and uh, it was definitely disappointing. I, I, I guess if we're looking for bright spots, and there were plenty, and sometimes we magnify losses in college football because there's only so many games, but it is a season-long thing. I think the defense keeps getting better and better. Well, you know, I thought our kids played hard, both sides of the ball. Uh, you know, we did play for 60 minutes. Uh, you know, obviously there's some mistakes and things that we'd like to have back. Um, but uh, you know, we are seeing growth at a lot of uh, you know, individual and groups uh, you know, on our football team. So we've got to build off of yesterday's experience. And I know our kids are excited to go to work this week. And uh, thank goodness we have a short week uh, leading up to Friday. Be and speaking of individuals, and you'll see just how good Daryl Henderson was, 212 yards. Coming up, the highlights, both the first half and the second. You'll see a lot of great plays, ladies and gentlemen. Then the Chick-fil-A Inside Access is all about team bonding. 
And then finally, the AutoZone Road Ahead. It's Georgia State. It's a Friday night at the Liberty Bowl. We need you all to come on out. We've got the highlights coming your way in just a minute. This is the Mike Norvell Show. Watching the Mike Norvell TV show. Welcome back in. So nice to have you with us. So it's a two point game at the half, 9 7. That's despite the fact that Tigers turn over the ball three times. And I, you've got to be feeling good about your defense at this point. No, I was. And uh, those guys were playing extremely hard. We felt like we had a good beat on, uh, on them. And, uh, you know, I, I knew our guys were going to go out there and continue to execute at a high level. We just had to, to make sure we were, we were protecting the football and, you know, establishing some drives. And you did for the most part in this game. And it is the best defense. I've seen Memphis play against the Navy now in the five games games that they have played again weather is a factor and it's it's nothing you can control but man it was a lousy day in Annapolis yeah you know it was uh, actually here in the third quarter the, the rain stopped uh, for for a little while so uh, uh, you know our guys we you know, they got the ball to start off the second half and uh, and you know I thought our guys once again were relentless pursuit of the ball you know when you're playing the triple option you've got to be on point with uh, with every assignment uh, your, your every detail but then uh, when you see the ball you've got to make sure you go and, and put pads on it uh, great stop by the defense we come back and uh, you know just absolutely a phenomenal run here by Daryl Henderson cuts all the way back across the field some really good blocks there on the back on the back side you got Joey Magnifico uh, you that know, was a pancake yeah no it was it was impressive him and the receivers blocking down the field offensive line did a good job at the beginning of it to open up a scene so here's a five-point lead for the Tigers and uh, that ball pops out and finally the Academy the Mids make a mistake yeah, you know that was, that was a big turnover. You know, being able to get the ball back for our offense, uh, that was a uh, that was obviously a big thing we talked about going into the game. But uh, um, you know, when you see when we we got the possession, of the ball handoff right back with with uh, Daryl Henderson on a nice little RPO. Uh, Brady had a nice read there, and uh, you know, got got Daryl into the open field. This guy gained weight, 20 pounds they say. They didn't lose any speed, obviously. That's his second touchdown. Or, uh, of the uh, of the football game there or make it to third I'm sorry and you guys are in control yeah you know uh, you know, obviously felt pretty good about uh, about where we were you know you going in the fourth quarter with the lead uh, your know, defense was was battling you know, obviously they you know you're playing a, playing a team it's very explosive offensively they're gonna make adjustments they're gonna find things to do and uh, but our defense came up with a big stop and then you know obviously uh, you know here at the in the fourth quarter we have control of the game uh, you know, putting together a drive, we have a first down run, but uh, ball gets on the ground again and gives the uh, gives Navy a short field to be able to work with. So 21 to nine after they make a mistake and you score, and then you've got that ball and you get another first down when the ball popped out with uh, Patrick Taylor on the Wildcat, and then uh, this guy's going to go to work, and this is one of the great runs that we'll see all year. I mean, he is juking, he is moving. I think he got by everybody. Yeah, you know, it was a great play by that young man. Uh, you know, he. Uh, and obviously was able to extend the play with his legs and uh, found a way to get to the end zone. You know, that was a, a couple missed tackles that we would like to get him down fail to play one more snap. But, uh, you know, the young man, you got to give him credit, did a great job. And that one won't count. Nice effort that time by Pop. So Navy's going to come back to work, and here he goes again, Malcolm Perry. Yeah, you know, that last drive, that was a, that was a critical drive in the game. Uh, you know, we tried to couple run plays there uh, you know up front you know, got they gave up a little bit of penetration you know third down was not able to convert gave them the ball uh, uh, you know you know obviously uh, this was a, a big drive they were able to eat up a, a little bit of the clock uh, they got down to a, to a fourth down situation and they were able to get the ball in the end zone they are something else on third and fourth down really fourth down conversions and that was Zach AB and all of a sudden the Tigers are behind but right back to work and here is the guy that's Daryl Henderson? Yeah, nice little swing pass out to the field. Uh, you know, good blocking by Tony Pollard there. Came back with a, uh, a tempo run. Uh, you know, I thought I thought there's a chance Daryl could take that one. Young I did man too. Made a nice little shoestring tackle. Uh, you know, here on the on the second down. Uh, uh, you know, obviously took a took an uh, opportunity for a drop back pass and uh, you know just you know slightly off for on on our. Uh, um, on our accuracy there, but uh, you know, then here comes down to the fourth down play. Uh, you know, just a couple, couple missed opportunities, and uh, you know, it's a, like I said, it was a, a very disappointing loss. Uh, you know, we were just slightly out of field goal range, especially yep. in those conditions. But 
you know, I was really proud of how our guys competed. They played hard, but, uh, you know, I have to say as you look at it, uh, you know, you, the stats don't really matter. When the, the right. only stat that matters is the one that's at the bottom. And uh, you can't do that against a good football team, especially on the road. You see the numbers, uh, it was a little disappointing second half, but uh, again, I'm, I'm going I'm to tell you weather was a part of it, and we got to give Navy's defense a lot of credit too. And so the, uh, the Tigers end up on the short end and won and one on the year, and the field goal would have been a 52-yarder in that mess. Yeah, that was, that was uh, you know, obviously Riley was uh, w wanted the opportunity, and it was one that I, you know, I just didn't, I didn't feel uh, w with, the, with the way the, wind, uh, the, the rain was coming down, it was going to be a tough, a t a tough uh, uh, attempt at it. I felt confident that we were going to be able to convert there, so, uh, you know, we, we ro rolled the dice on it and just came up a little short, but, uh, you know, our guys, uh, you know, in that locker room after the game, I mean, they, they, they had the right mindset. Everybody was, was disappointed, obviously. Uh, uh, you know, coaching staff, players, but uh, you know, we know we can build from this. So we've been here before, and it's it, how we respond to this game is going to really dictate our season. Just like last year, lost the first conference game. Guess what? Came back and made the championship game. We take a break. He talked about the locker room. This is a team that is together. They'll talk about bonding on the Chick Fil A Inside Access coming your way right after this. watching the Mike Norvell TV show. Time for a little inside access brought to you by Chick-fil-A. They say the team that hangs together, well, they'll stick together. The Tigers talk about bonding. When you bunked up with some guys for one or two weeks and, you know, it's just you and him, and, you know, y'all not, not really on your phone or whatever, you really get to know people on a different level and, I think that's something important because when you have a bond off the field, it takes the on the field stuff a lot more serious. So I think that's something that's important for us to have. Around here on Memphis campus, we really stress the family part a lot. So when we stress the family part, Coach Navarro makes sure that we really, uh, he holds us to it. We have some time to spend and, you know, talk with some guys. And I mean, always learning about guys who you're playing with. I mean, kind of, you know, you know guys a little more, you might want to play you know, harder for them, you know, them a little better. Uh, you, you learn some stuff about guys that not, probably not everybody knows about them, you know. You learn maybe the reason why they're here and what they want to do, and what they're trying to accomplish. Uh, it kind of, it's a blessing to you know some guys like that. And it just helps you get closer with whoever it is that you're there with, you know, because they separate us and we have different rooms with roommates and, you know, it just helps you bond with your teammates better than you could being here at home. Most teams, they don't like how like that family bond and here, like Coach Norvell and the start of the family bond, like so by the time when you come here and by the time you end, you'll know everybody's life like y'all actually live together, like growing up together. You know, one of the greatest things about college football are the relationships. And these young men, you know, they're going to spend, you know, three, four, five years with the, with this one group. And so we, we spend a lot of time on, on you know, really helping them, uh, you know, you get to know each other. And the trip to Lambeth, when you see those, those few days yeah. when they all have their own roommates, uh, you know, being able to, to get to know each other's story. We all come from a different path, but when we're here, we're all Tigers. And uh, you know, that's something that's really special to us. And the great thing, too, because I've, I've watched this for 30 years now, the friendships they have, the last... 30 years from, they'll be talking about last night's game forever. No, and, no, and that's so much fun to watch. Coming up, the Auto Zone Road Ahead. Don't forget, it's a Friday game at the Liberty Bowl. Can't wait to see all of you there. You're watching the Mike Norvell TV Show. Time for the Auto Zone Road Ahead. Market Town, it's Friday night, 6 o'clock. The Georgia State Panthers will be in town. This is the team, by the way, that was so kind last year to uh, allow the, us out of the game so that we could make up that uh, that ball game with UCF. Well, I don't know if I've ever been more excited about a short week. Uh, you know, <laughs> you know we're, 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 I know our guys are going to be ready. Uh, we've got to have a great week of preparation. You know, I'm glad to be home back at the Liberty Bowl, and uh, you know we're gonna we're gonna work to build off the experience from yesterday and uh, go out there and get back on that field and play up to Tiger football standards. Well, I know you mentioned this earlier too that the, the team had the right attitude in the locker room. The hurt was there, but so was the determination. Yeah, we've we've got to build off of it, and uh, you know you only get so many experiences in life uh, playing this game, but uh, you, it's what you do and how you respond to those. Uh, you know, I know our guys are gonna respond the right way. Our coaching staff's gonna respond the right way, and we're looking forward to this game. 
coming up this week. Panthers are one and one. Folks, this is not a gimme. Make sure that you get out and you support us. Again, that'll be 6 o'clock at the Liberty Bowl. And I know we had over 40,000 for that first game. So let's all come on out and see what the Tigers can do game three of the year. In the meantime, we'll see you right back here next Sunday night. Have a great week, everybody. Thanks for watching the Mike Norvell TV show presented by AutoZone. From parts to helpful advice, AutoZone has everything you need to get in the zone. AutoZone, the show is supported by the Tennessee Lottery, Subway, and Chick-fil-A. The Learfield Director's Cup, the highly recognized mark of distinction in college athletics across all divisions, both men's and women's sports. Follow your favorite team's pursuit for excellence in this prestigious annual award through thedirectorscup.com, USA Today, or at L Directors Cup on Twitter or Facebook. Learfield Directors Cup, the crowning achievement in college athletics since 1993.